Hi, my name's Ed Gregory for Photos in Color, and today I'm going to show you how to do awesome lens corrections in Lightroom. So lens corrections are really important once you've taken the photograph. So every single lens has a different profile, and basically it affects what is actually there differently. So if you use a wide angle lens, what happens is it can actually stretch the edges of the image a little bit and make things extend out. Also, you might get something called vignetting. Okay. And what this is, this is when the edge of the lens, where the, where the sharpness is slightly less is you can have some darkening there. So that's when sometimes the edge of the image will be dark and stretched. So Lightroom allows you to fix all of those things and often with just one or two clicks. The final thing that we're going to talk about is chromatic aberration. And that's with some lenses, when you push them to their limit, so like f4, if it's a f1.4 lens, f1.4, um, what will happen is anytime you've got a light area hitting a dark area, you might have some fringing, which is usually green or pink or purple in, in tones. And you can actually get rid of all of that. So let's jump into Lightroom and figure out how to do it. So today we're going to be working with this image here that I shot in Las Vegas um, not so long ago. The lens corrections panel is under the top here. You have to go to develop and then about halfway down the side, if you've got all your sections open, there is a section called lens corrections. Okay. So let's have a quick look through this under the basic section, you've got a couple of different options here. Now you've got enable profile corrections. That's actually what you find under profile. Remove chromatic aberration is what you find under color and constrain crop essentially is what you're going to find underneath manual. So we'll go over those things in a moment. Now down at the bottom, this is actually going to do things like leveling your image. So it's going to straighten it on the vertical on the horizontal, or it's going to do both. So if we have a look at the level um, on the horizontal, see, it's just going to move that image. So now the lines are nice and flat or the vertical. Okay. You can't see much with this image. And if you go full, it's going to do both. And this image actually Lightroom has a real issue with. So we're going to come back and just go for level on this one. But if we were to look at a slightly different photograph like this one here, and hit full. Okay. So turn it all off, hit full. It actually does a really great job at fixing this. Let's come back to the one of Vegas though. And let's now have a look at these options here. Now, if you hit enable profile corrections, okay, you see what happens. The image changes, but rather than doing that, we're going to go into profile and we're going to see actually what happens. So when you select this, it automatically will know what lens you shot it on. Now, this isn't always the case. Sometimes it doesn't detect it. So you can put it in yourself by literally selecting your, your lens brand. Okay. And then selecting it. So this was taken on the, the Nikon or Nikon 14, 24 mil F 2.8. And so it already knows what it must do. And so if you actually look under distortion, it's actually moving the image so that it's not quite as bold as it was originally. Look at that's what it was. And it also knows that there is some vignetting, which means that on the edges here, if we turn it off, you see it's a little darker. And so it's going to solve that problem. Fantastic. The next thing is color. Now what this is, is chromatic aberration. So these, if we look up here, we have some purple. So if we make sure that we don't have this turned on, Okay. So we pull all of this back here. You can see the original image has this pink fringing down the side here. Now turn it on and it's going to detect it automatically and get rid of it, which has done a fantastic job. But I know that on this image, if we come all the way over this side, that actually, oh, it's actually fixed it. But for example, you can see there is also green fringing here. Now, if it doesn't sort that issue out, it's quite simple to do. You take the dropper tool here and you select it on the fringe. So you can see how blue and green that is. And as you click on that, it's going to change the green hue section. It's going to fix it all so that now we don't have the chromatic aberration. So let's keep that selected and you can see it's done a fantastic job of getting rid of the purple 
pink and green edges, which is fantastic. The final thing is manual. And basically what this means is you can do all of your different constraints yourself. So you can change your distortion. So, if, you know, if it was a fisheye, you'd want to push it back this way. Um, you can change your vertical. So it's going to basically twist it on the vertical plane gets a little bit weird. Horizontal is going to twist it round to each side. Rotate is it's just going to rotate it and then you can scale it and you can change the aspect ratio so you can make it fatter and thinner. Now really you're not going to use these manual settings very often because it should do a great job itself. And the constrain crop option at the bottom basically means if you were to rotate it you can see where you've got these white borders now if you hit constrain crop it's going to make sure that those borders don't exist but if we just come out we're going to reset the image oh i've deleted it we're going to come here and we're going to reset this image okay to how it was and if we just come in basic and hit auto and enable all these things it's going to straighten and align everything for you so that's how to use the lens corrections options in Lightroom. If you like the video, please hit subscribe below. We've got loads of more videos coming up in the future. Please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. And remember, you can leave a comment. I always answer absolutely everybody with questions, with concerns. If you want me to do a video on something specific, just ask me. I'll usually do it for you. So please subscribe below and this is Ed Gregory for photosincolor.com.